I just stopped in for a look. I end up having a meal. Simple shrimp dish from an Italiano in India. It's all about food and our cultures. It was about India and Italy and all the craziness that the two cultures have. I love the hectic city of Mumbai. It's a huge city located by the Arabian Sea. Its food is as diverse as the people who live here. Today I'm meeting Italian expat Antonio, who knows a thing or two about Indian street food. He's been here for five years. Antonio! Antonio! Hey. Antonio's taking me to Chaupati Beach. It's the place where they sell traditional Indian street food. Street food is very stuzzicante. Yes. Yes. Poi magari domani mattina puoi avere qualche problema, però le cose buone poi hanno degli effetti prima o poi. Andiamo a mangiare un po' di street food di quella la seria. Tutto fritto, tutto super calorico, tutto super spicy. Quindi molto leggero. Molto leggero. Questi stuzzichini, queste cose indiane, cioè che c'è? Pizza al taglio. Pizza al taglio? Nei. Aspetta, i patate croccanti? Nei. Gli arancini, i suppli? Nei. Però, però, questo Wada Pau, che è una cosa buonissima secondo me, che sostanzialmente è un panino di patate, un panino con una frittella di patate. Antonio's from Napoli and speaks fluent Hindi. A Neapolitan in India? He's got to be crazy. He's part of this growing Italian expat community right here in Mumbai. Quindi questa è la mitica spiaggia di Chopati. Allora ora proviamo questo vada pao. Vada pao. Vada pao. Do de do. So Antonio, what is this? The fried potato bowl with uh, uh, some Indian touches. And there is this green chutney, which is a coriander based sauce. Yeah. Basically you have to smash it. You have to smash it. You eat and then at side you have some chili. Cazzarola. Oh. Huh? Who doesn't like fried potatoes in a bun? And then you have some of these at side, because, uh, you know, there's um, always need of more spice, so you need to add it up. Buono. Okay, so, buono, eh? this is like a, um, a potato panini. A potato panini. Yeah. Some carbs for a day of full of energy. The next thing we try is pani puri. Pani puri are these bite-sized fried crisp balls filled with potato, chickpeas, and onions in a masala, then dipped in pani or flavored water. Antonio's a foodie. He says it's good. I'm going to try it. These pani puri are a spicy explosion of flavor in your mouth. Kim Buon. We meet up with Antonio's friend Jacopo, another expat. He's from Milan. All that spicy food and running around, we're craving gelato. But we're in India, so we get the Indian version. Delicious cool food. This is Indian ice cream flavored with cardamom. The next day, Antonio wants me to check out the Versova fishing village in Mumbai. So he's arranged for me to meet up with a friend of his. I'm looking forward to going to Versova. It's a small little fishing village in Mumbai. The train comes barely into the station. You see guys hanging out of the train. It was surreal. So I go on. I'm like getting stepped on. I got armpits in my face. 
And one thing I noticed, in our car, they're only men. Like, where are the women? So a guy said, no, no, women are in different cars. I mean, I don't blame the women because my car stunk. I've taken subways in Milan, Paris, Rome, London, Toronto, and even during rush hour, nothing compared to this scene. I meet up with Antonio's friend, Rushina at Versova. She's a local food blogger who's agreed to show me around. Versova is the beginnings of Mumbai. She's invited me to check out old style fishing recipes. I'm not sure what to expect. So today we're gonna to visit a traditional Koli restaurant. Nothing fancy, just, you know, local. We walk through the village and it's like walking through time. Old fishermen homes, as they were two, three hundred years ago. This village is totally different from the city. It's like a slice of history right here in modern day Mumbai. It feels different, it smells different, the people look different. I notice all these uh, leaves here. So this is a traditional pan shop. Traditionally, pan was eaten after a meal as a digestive. The leaves are soaked and he puts these spices, coconut, jelly, and there's a little bit of everything here. And you would eat the whole leaf? You would put the whole thing in your mouth. Now, I'm in India, I want to explore. But questo mi fa schifo, this grosses me out. He's spreading this jam and jelly and he's like wrapping it and he gives it to me. I'm like, call me old fashioned, but I just want a grappa or an amato for my digestivo. And so my tour of the Versova fishing village continues. Antonio's friend Rushina introduces me to Versova, a Koli fishing village and a piece of Mumbai's history. Oh wow, this is lovely. Yes, this is the local fish market. This is where people would come in to buy their fish for the day. So this is where the importance of the women. They're yes, the, yes. They're the gatekeepers that sell the fish. Yes, yes. Apparently the women here run the show. They control the money. They basically run the village. If you don't bargain enough for it, it doesn't taste as good. Oh, really? Yeah. If you don't bargain, it doesn't taste as good. Yeah. Rashina introduces me to a local restaurant to try out some of their traditional Koli dishes. Looks like a little shack, yes. a little hut. We walk in and there's this lovely couple. They greet us namaste, really friendly. We're not at a restaurant, we're at an extension of their home. Here they're known for their house specialty, Bombay duck, which isn't what you might think it is. Bombay duck, okay. I've been wanting Bombay duck for a while now. And today is my lucky day. They're gonna show me how they prepare their Bombay duck. These cuts are made so that when they put the spice paste on, it gets into the fish. So do they put the uh, koli masala? Yes, they put, yeah. They'll, yeah. They'll put a koli masala on that and then they'll fry it up. When I first heard it, I thought it was actually duck. One story is that it traveled on the Bombay dark. The, the Bombay dark was the train that took the mail through. Dark right. means post. Okay. So it kind of got corrupted into Bombay dark. Right. I decide to get my hands dirty and help them prepare some of their Bombay harder, duck. as in full harder. Like rip the head off. Yes. Like don't be a pussy, yeah. just rip it off. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we do in Sicily, we just rip the heads off. And what's the other fish we're learning? Uh, the pomfret stuffed pomfret with, pomfret. with masala and fried. And that's a popular fish here in Kohli. Yes. So Manoj is going to show us how to make okay. Bombay duck. So salt. Salt. Okay. Turmeric. Now you have to massage it into the fish with Like that? You know, just like gently, yes. Yeah. Kashmiri chili powder. Some chili. You're going to put some garam masala on there. And then we're going to put some lime juice on there. OK. What kind of oil is this? Cold pressed peanut oil. So the, what kind of flour is this? This is semolina. Semolina? Mm -hmm. And right on. Good? Yep. OK. Yeah. How long have you been here? How long has he been here? Yeah, he used to work in a five-star hotel. And then he's now shifted here to... Back and, to his roots. Yes, back to his roots. Tell him that he's got my dream job. 
This is done. Now yep. we do the next one. Okay, perfect. Then the pomme frite. Stuffed fish in this brie masala with coriander, mint, ginger garlic, coconut. I mean, essentially, this is like a, a green pesto. Exactly. And we stuff it in. Yeah, to uh, close it. Just... So he's put it in stuffed side down right. so it gets sealed properly, right. and then he'll turn it around. And he's very generous with how much he put in. Yes. We stuffed it in the fish, and I'm thinking, it might be too much. It might be overpowering. Uh, yeah. OK, I'm learning Hindi. So this is just water and flour, stuffed side down, and we close it up and fry it till it's nice and crispy. You understand what this means? We get to eat now? I uh, can't I? Uh. <laughs> OK, I'm looking forward to all this. So David, now that we've finished cooking, we have a surprise for you. Manoj yeah. has their local <laughs> costume for you to wear. <laughs> I have to wear a costume when I eat? Yes. Yeah. OK, I, I guess I better be a good sport, right? The owner starts putting this tie-dye sarong and this hat. And he says to me, this is what the Kohli fishermen wear. Are these the waiters? No, they're just little kids from around this area. Amazing. Oh. Please join us. The batter on the Bombay duck was delicious. It's all about the flavor profiles of the masala, adding the turmeric, the salt, and then in that beautiful crust. This is very flavorful. When I had that moist pomme frite, with that picante masala, wow. with those hints of mint and coconut, it's like to die for. Better than any five-star restaurant. Congratulations, this is really good. You come to a city like Mumbai, and it's hard to find these gems. If it wasn't for Rushina, I would never have stumbled in a place like this. Forget about the fancy restaurant, five-star hotel. This is where the heart and soul of India is when it comes to cooking, in these small villages. And to think it's in the heart of Mumbai.